Hello, in the last video we talked about ratios. Now we're going to talk about specific types of ratios called unit rates. Um, but first we're going to talk about rates. So a rate right here is a ratio involving two quantities in different units. So for instance, if your heart beats 150 times, 150 beats in two minutes, that's a rate because we have beats on top and minutes on the bottom. Or maybe your car uh, drives or your family drives in a car 150 miles in three hours. Here we have a distance on top and miles and time on the bottom and hours. So we have ratios, but they involve two quantities in different units. Okay, that's a rate. A unit rate. The rate for one unit of a given quantity is called the unit rate. Well, here we have beats in two minutes and miles in three hours, but we want to know the rate for one unit. Okay, so in this case, if we take the, the beats per minute, 75 beats per two minutes means, uh, sorry, 150 beats per two minutes means 75 beats in one minute. So now we have the rate for one unit, because there's one unit on the bottom. Or if we had 150 miles in three hours, that means 50 miles in one hour. So we've taken these rates here and turned them into unit rates, because now the bottom is a one unit. So one minute in this case, one hour in this case. It doesn't always have to be time on the bottom. It just happens to be that way in this case. Um, Let's try to find a unit rate here. So this one does not have time. So if a box of wheat crackers contains six servings and has a total of 420 calories, find the number of calories in one serving. Okay, so what we have is we have 420 calories per six servings or in six servings. And you'll often see this on food boxes where they tell you the total amount of calories and then they tell you how many servings there are. But we want to know the number of calories in one serving. Okay, so to get that, this is a fraction, 420 over 6. So if we just divide the top and bottom by 6, then we'll get the cal calories per one serving, right? So here... We have 420 divided by 6, I believe, is 70 over 1 serving. So 70 calories in one serving. So that's how you find the unit rate. Uh, let's try comparing unit rates. So if we had, why that's like that? Okay. So if we had two sizes of sports drink bottles that are 32 ounces and 24 ounces. And if the 32 ounce drink costs 129 and the 24 ounce drink costs 120, so I guess we can underline there. We don't have to underline here, right? Uh, which is the better buy? So we could say, well, how many ounces do we get uh, per dollar? Or how many cents does it cost per ounce? So there's two ways we can think about this. Uh, why don't we try both ways and see what happens? So if we have. 32 ounces over, so for a 32 ounce drink costs $1.29. For $1.29, uh, what is that per dollar? Let's see, we could do 32 divided by 1.29. That looks kind of like a hassle, so I'm going to bring out the trusty calculator for this. Since it says round each unit costs to the nearest cent, looks like they want us to put cents on the top, but uh, we don't have to do that. We will do that, but I'm going to try it this way for now. So 32 divided by 1.29 on my trusty phone is 24.8 ounces for $1. All right, let's try the 24-ounce drink. It's making me thirsty for $1.20. And that's going to equal, let's see, 24 
divided by 120. Actually, I don't need a calculator for this. That's just 20. So 20 ounces over $1. So this is pretty obvious which buy is better. Here I get 24.8, almost 25 ounces for $1. And here I get 20 ounces for $1. So it's pretty clear that I want to buy this because I get more for my dollar. Now, as I said, you can set it up in a different way. So let's do that. So we could say money, so $1.29 over ounces, and figure out what the cost per ounce. Um, so in this case, 129 divided by 32, let's use the trusty calculator here, we get uh, 4 cents. And so that means each ounce, let's see, what are we talking about? So 0 0.04, 4 cents for one ounce. So 0.04 dollars or four cents for one ounce. And in this case, uh, or the second case, we have one dollar twenty cents for 24 ounces. So I'm going to divide 1.2 divided by 24. And I think it's going to be 0 0.05. Let's try it out. 1.2 divided by 24. 0.05 cents or 0 0.05 dollars, which would be five cents over one ounce. And so it's clear that um, this is cheaper because it's four cents per ounce. This is more expensive at five cents per ounce. So either way you do it, you can still logically come up with the correct answer here if you were a smart shopper. Uh, and the last problem, we're going to talk about using unit rate. So if, if a car travels about 25 miles on one gallon of gas, about how far can the car travel on eight gallons of gas? Well, if it goes 25 in one gallon, 25 miles in one, using one gallon, then certainly we could figure out how many gallons uh, or how many miles it would go on eight gallons, right? So if we just multiply the top and bottom by eight, we would get our answer. And so 25 times 8 is 200. So it will go 200 miles on 8 gallons of gas. And that is going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to fill out the form.